welcome back. So Capricorn, this is going to be your reading for the week of May 5th. Uh, and happy Cinco de Mayo to anybody who celebrates. Um, this is going to be a general reading, so not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does resonate, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Um, also, check out my social media account links down in the description box below. So, let's see what you have going on this week, Capricorn. Ooh. So, uh, overall energy is the Page of Swords, which in this deck talks about gossip. Oi, oi, oi. Careful of any gossip. Uh, particularly within the workplace is the first thing that came up, but could also be within a family structure or... Yeah. But I also see the Page of Swords as someone who is a bit immature uh, or can be immature at times. Sometimes it does represent stalking, like online stalking. Um, whether that be you or someone else doing that. It also talks about someone trying to gain information, but not quite on the up and up. And so, a few different meanings that I have out, but I'm going to keep it general, and then I'm going to break it down here at the end, okay? So, Capricorn, 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 Capricorn. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. I don't know why that came to my mind. <laughs> Is that from the Brady Bunch? I feel like there's some family stuff going on this week. Like I said earlier, but <laughs> take it as it resonates. <laughs> so weird. All right, so recent past energy is the Three of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and then the Eight of Cups. Mm. So I definitely feel like, um, you know, in the recent past, there might have been a light shown on someone that was not on the up and up. And I always see the King of Swords as a very stern energy. So I feel like the response to this was to be very stern with this person and or completely cut them out. Because this is someone who has the ability to completely detach. Okay? And I feel like somebody most definitely decided to do that and walk away from the situation. This is the past energy. Now coming into the future, or this week, <laughs> you have the Page of Wands here. The Knight of Swords, and then the Four of Cups. Um, so the Knight of Swords in this deck is angry. I feel like, um, like I said, I see a person here that is a, a, a bit immature. Some of you, this might be you, especially if you have air in your chart. But um, like I said, you could be dealing with someone like this, so take it as it resonates. But I feel like there's a lot of immaturity here. I now have two pages. So I feel like there might be some impulsive, like somebody may impulsively communicate something that's complete BS or it's based on lies or it's gossip related, you know? Um, and so the response to that is ignoring. Like I said, someone's, the way they deal with things is to ignore. Ignore, detach try and leave themselves out of it. You know what I'm saying? And so I feel like that's probably what you're trying to do this week, Capricorn. <laughs> you know, it's like pay it no attention. Um, like you don't want to be involved here. Okay. Towards the end of the week, you have the Seven of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Five of Wands. Like I said, for a lot of you, this is a family conflict. I have two different cards out that speak of family, okay? But it's going to be different for all of you. Some I can also see this as competition. Some of you, it's within the work environment, like I said. Um, and then you have the Ace of Cups. So I see that as love. I feel like whoever this is, you've invested time into. You you feel a close bond with this person. You have a past history with this person. Here. This is actually very similar to Libra's reading. Some of you might have Libra in your chart or dealing with one. But, and if so, then go check that reading out too. Um, but either way, this is someone that you have history with, okay? 
I feel for a lot of you that are drawn to watch this, it, there's family involvement in some degree or another here. And it's like kind of disappointed. You're disappointed because it's like, we're better than this. Or like, we have history together, so why are you behaving like this? You know, like, I thought we moved past this. I thought we were past that point, you know, uh, or left that. I thought we left that in the past, okay? Let the past be the past. And it's like coming back up. I, I don't know if there's any retrogrades going on right now because I have not been good at keeping up with that. But the, a lot of the Zodiac signs this week are having, like, things resurface. And I just feel like the response here is to tune out. So I'm going to clarify um, a few of these and then I'm going to break it down into love and career. You could be in both groups or just one of them. It'll be different for all of you. Just take what resonates. So if this is career, like I said, I feel like some of you definitely have walked away from a corporation or a job that you had invested a lot of time into um, to pursue something else. And that's the past energy. I feel like you wanted to be more independent, so to speak. And so I do feel like um, coming up this week, there is some new creative energy here and communication coming in. But it's almost like you're not very interested. So if there are new ventures, new ideas, etc. coming through this week, I don't feel that you are interested in investing in them at this time. And why is that? I think it's because your focus is elsewhere. It might most definitely be uh, within on family, especially if there's conflict going on in the family environment. And I feel like that, you know, it's taking your attention this week. Um, I feel like there's a lot, it's so much deeper though, like whatever this is about, it's, it's something that is very emotional, um, deep seated is what I heard. Someone has some deep seated emotions here or insecurities and it's bubbling up this week. And it's coming out, but it's coming out in all the wrong ways, you know? And I feel like your response, Capricorn, is to just be like, you're disappointed, but you also don't want to entertain it, you know? Or the message is not to entertain it. All right, so that's group one. Group two, if this is intimate relationships, it's not family, it's not work, it's love, then you might be in this group. So I feel like if you've walked away from someone in the past, okay, or completely cut them out of your life or they you, I definitely feel that there's still some sort of gossip around it and or this person still is like paying attention to what you're doing online or something to do with that. I feel like you possibly could get communication here. But someone's not interested in trying again. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this disappointed you even though you really really had a lot of emotion, a lot of love at some point in time with this person it just it was too much back and forth too much competitiveness okay you should never be competitive with a partner you should hold each other up not fight against each other you know what I'm saying and I feel like that's kind of what went on it was more of a fight and it was just yeah but I do feel like this person has a lot of love. And, you know, I think secretly they want to offer it or come back around. Or you do. Okay, so that's really interesting. So I do feel like you may get communication this week that someone wants to come back and offer you something. And on the surface, 
you don't act interested. But underneath all of it, remember I said there's something deep-seated here. Underneath all of that, you have a lot of love for this person. There's a hesitation. There's a weighing up of whether this is worth investing in again. But I definitely see some sort of communication here or new information for sure. Yeah. So that's the other group of you. Regardless what zodiac signs you might be dealing with, I have, like I said, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, strong here. But I also have Pisces. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or possibly water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio are the predominant signs I have out. And Sagittarius. So um, let me know how it resonated. And I wish you all the best either way. Until next time, I love you so much. Namaste. Bye.